Alrighty guys, welcome to yet another guide here. In this guide here, we are gonna cover the sub rogue for patch 9.05. And in this guide here, we are gonna take a look at all the basics for single target damage. We are briefly gonna talk about AoE, and I will later on here make sure that I do a guide for each of the Mythic Plus dungeons at a higher level, so you know exactly how to play your sub rogue in those. I know our lore is better for the Mythic Plus variant, but it will show be informative and it's still very viable to play in basic plus all right guys let's get into it but first here as always if you like and enjoy the video don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to the channel ring the little bell button for more invites and possibly blizzard won't shit on sub rogues in the future luck if you hit that little bell button and leave a comment of what you thought of the video, what you think about Subrook, do you like it over the all specs, or do you prefer Assassination or Outlaw? And what is your whole thought on the rogue situation at the moment? All those things help out the algorithm like my channel better, so if you want to support the channel, definitely go and do that. And more PvP content coming up as well, don't forget that. I stream over on twitch.tv slash killerchris, there will be links to that in the description as well. Alright guys, on with the video. Right, guys so there's been some changing in your build and stats and stuff so uh let me go over first up here what you want to pick for covenant you want to make sure you go for the venture if you want the top the top it has been a bit of a change this venture is now the best second best will be night fate and then it will be either necrolord or Kyrian, depending on how the necrolord buff scales out i don't think necrolord will be the go-to and it to be honest also seems like the most boring covenant to play but definitely Venfear will be the better option and your current duets picks are gonna depend on the covenant that what soul binds you take ideally we'll go into that a bit later but you should definitely sim yourself also depending on what conduits you have and what soul binds you've unlocked as you're switching so for the talents uh what we are going to pick are going to be weapon master weapon master is still going to be the better choice even though they fixed the uh Premeditation. Premeditation is just not worth it. Due to it, also only works whenever you're entering stealth. Weapon Master is in all your shadow dances as well, and subterfuge if you if you're playing that. However, we are not gonna play subterfuge. We are gonna play shadow focus. Shadow focus is still gonna be the better option here. We are not gonna have enough haste to be able to drop shadow focus in favor of night stalker. Whenever we get a bit more gear and haste becomes better, and we can take night stalker. Um, that will be the option to go to. So if you're not feeling it, you stopped at all, you might want to go with Night Stalker if you have a lot of haste in your gear. Deeper Stratagem is the next talent. Uh, it far outperforms both Vigor and Mark for Death on Sub Rogue. So that's definitely the pick. Next one is optional. All depends on the fight and what you're doing. Next one is optional again. However, for PvE scenarios, I recommend taking Prey on the Week because that actually does something and we are gonna be picking enveloping shadow because of the extra charge and the faster cooldown reduction i do not see dark shadow being viable anytime soon or electricity at all since we are relying so heavily on our shadow dancers so enveloping shadows is definitely go to and still master of shadows secret techniques uh, single target damage increase is just so horrid so definitely not worth and master of shadows is still going to be the pick and it will likely be the pick all throughout the expansions i, think. I would like to have like the one of the big finishers back uh, like death from above like we had in legion or just secret technique if we can't have the good old death from above so that is it for talents for legendaries and gear uh legendaries you want to be picking finality that will be the overall best legendary the um Akari Legendary is also really good. You are single target, but as soon as you have more than one target, the Akari Legendary isn't going to be worth stats. You want to take Burst as your top priority stats. You want to take Crit as your second, then Mastery, then Haste. And this all depends on how much you have of each stat. This is your cookie cutter. All right, this is what I have to think of. Da, 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 da. You need to have like certain amounts of stats depending on your other stats uh to figure out what you need to pick here is that you need to go and simulate your character and find out what stats are best for you all 
Alrighty, guys, let's talk opener. So uh, this is how it's going to play out. We are going to do a Shadow Strike. And then we are going to do Slice and Dice right after a low combo point Slice and Dice. What we are going to do then is that we are going to pop our Burst. That will be our Shadow Blades. It will be our Symbols of Death, Shadow Dance, and our Offensive Trinket if we have such equipped. So actually, let me just get... I've been playing PvP, so let me just get my Offensive Trinket down here. So that is how we're going to go. Shadow Strike, Opener, Slice and Dice, Burst to Cooldowns. Then we're going to use Sepsis, Shadow Strike, Rupture. Right, so we get our five or five or six combo point rupture, and then we continue on the normal go. Right, so we make sure we maintain slice and dice. We make sure we maintain rupture. We don't press symbols without also pressing shadow dance. We make sure we pull a shadow dance. So when we press symbols, when it comes exactly off cooldown, we'll be able to press shadow dance. So that'll be good. So uh, let me show how it's going to look here uh we do have a teeny teeny tiny truth gcd here actually let me just pause this clip here and blow it up all righty guys and we're back i put the uh, truth gcd a little bit bigger up there in the top of the screen as you can see so let me show you how it's gonna go so first we are going to stealth right you can see the abilities up here we'll shadow strike into slice and dice use our burst of cooldowns and our offensive trigger we're going to shadow strike again into rupture and then we are going to go with our regular go here now so we are going to make sure we pull a little bit of energy and then we shadow strike again with that free shadow strike we gain from the sepsis we are going to refresh our slice and dice so we don't let it drop and then we go to see here now we have 45 second cooldown onto our shadow dance but only five seconds on symbols of death so we could use the one there because we had an extra charge if we hadn't had that extra charge you'll run into a situation where you'll need to wait like five six cents since you have the charge talent built into the shadow dance it won't be an issue right so you can easily go and hold on to that charge for a little bit you'll still recover cooldown you won't lose that extra time that is going to be paramount in your success as dpsing as a sub rogue i see a lot of people who are doing the mistake by not pulling that shadow dance and just letting it rip as soon as they get it and then they'll press symbols of death as soon as they get it and they don't have things stacked up it's okay to not hit press buttons for a little bit as long as you're not capping out on your energy it's okay not to use shadow dance right away as long as you're not capping out on your stacks so remember maintain those if there's a part where you don't need to damage the fighter need to touch things take that as an opportunity i lost maybe five percent of my total dps on uh lady dark Vane, the one with the canisters and i did the canisters as a rogue because i timed my rotations and made sure that i had energy to be pulled up and made good use of my shadows step and my fox and sprint to go and open the canisters in between so you have a lot of utilities to make use of make sure you make good use of it when you're playing your sub rogue as a dps and just some closing remarks here on the uh, sub rogue rotation make sure you uh, go up to five uh, combo points on each of them uh, make sure you are refreshing your uh, rupture within the pandemic window make sure you're ref refreshing slice and dice within the pandemic window. you can see that boom so that we can refresh it then we gain that extra duration so we don't miss out on that again here with the rupture make sure we're not refreshing rupture and slice and dice or at least try to avoid it within our lovely lovely shadow dance we want as many globals in that window here to go out for shadow strikes and eviscerates so uh yeah and that's pretty much it for the for the sub rogue rotations here uh i'll cover some of the trinkets and some of the changes to trinkets here in a little bit uh before we end the video so stick around for that and if you want the uh Uyghur here this like little Uyghur setup i'll leave 
I'll try to remember to leave a link in the description. If I forget it, leave a comment. Or leave a comment if you have any questions about this here. This week or setup works for Sub Rogue, Outlaw Rogue, all the Covenants. Alrighty, guys. So, change of pace here. We have some dramatic lighting because there's been some dramatic changes in trinkets. And what you need to play with trinkets. Not that much, but you get the point. What there has been a major change of is how we acquire trinkets. And you are basically able to farm whatever trinkets you want from Mythic Plus. Not the rate, but with the introduction of Valor Points, trinkets have been significantly easier to acquire. So I've fired up Whoa. Hero Damage. Hero Damage is the name of the site. Here, and we are pretty much good to see whatever trinket are the best for both single target and dungeon slice you can play on this one here if you go to herodamage.com i'll uh, chuck it in the description if i remember to it again if you want the link herodamage.com it's right there all right so as we can see a dreadfire vessel being the greater trinket alongside file of petrification skulker swing hateful chain inscrutable con quantum device oh i can't pronounce that we have infinitely divisible ooze and uh, long here being the top ones so uh, anything below memory or past since i would not track it directly but if you happen to get it, it it would be great right so uh the two ones you want to go for is either skulker's wing dreadfire vessel definitely want to see if you can get a skulker's wing from mythic since it's the first price it's rather easy on mythic and file of purification file of purification being a passive trinket so many of the other high end trinkets are active if you use two active trinkets they are going to have a little bit of diminishing value as they'll share like a little cool on so you can't press both at once right that would have been stupidly overpowered in pvp but alas that is nothing we can do about that so these are pretty much the trinkets you want to run for single target uh, boss fights again here you yeah, also boss fights with ads it's quite similar red fire vessel file of petrification skulker swing they are all going to be really good for boss fights with that and depending on what boss fights you're fighting if it's only a few ads or if it's a lot of ads for example side and after you don't want to play the dear old secret technique because you simple black powder is better right so you never want to press it when we have the ads. Uh, maybe in the second phase, but then I feel like the single target damage of not having it is just way better. And for dungeon slides, it's pretty much the same. So file and unused trinkets. And pretty much all of the raid trinkets are really good. The only one there is, is the macabre sheep music. That is the raid trinket that isn't really that worth using. But especially if you can get any of the uh, raid trinkets from Mythic, except for the sheet music, then you're pretty well off. All right, guys, that is going to cover it for trinkets.